Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. A rainy day, been uh, thunderstorms all day, which is perfect time to talk about broken solar panels. And uh, my thoughts on buying broken solar panels and what you should expect if you do not get burnt like I did and what you should typically see if you buy broken solar panels and uh, what well I'm just gonna go over what I expected and what I thoroughly had planned and my experience with broken solar panels because I haven't told you this before but I have experience with broken solar panels now one thing when a solar panel breaks it shatters like the side window of a car outward in a in a very tiny fragmenting pattern radiating out from the central point it was impacted at now you can generally still see the impact point of a solar panel now these panels were broken many 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 years ago and you can see the impact point where the panel was broken it's still visible today and then uh, it radiates out and breaks in a fine pattern from there that's the original impact point now the eBay listing I got these from said that these were broken in return shipping from the uh, from where they were installed for five less than five years ago if they were broken in return shipping or being removed from the job site you would find some structural damage around the framing or impact points where they hit being jostled around too much but every single one of these has perfectly intact framing and a specific impact point somewhere on the panel where the original um, breakage occurred the original impact position on the panels each and every one of these has a very clear impact point one single impact point telling me it was not done by hail and it was not done in shipping as they were listed then I'm going to show you in comparison a good broken solar panel what I have had for four years and I'll show you what you should expect and the original intentions was to show you how to repair these here's the impact point on this one very clear you can always see the original impact point and then where it stars out from there so these were huh, I don't know I can't say it was not hail a newly broken solar panel should produce should generally produce 80 to 95 percent of its rated capacity maybe more they should be able to sit in the elements for a couple to few years without degrading um, quite a few years without degrading still putting out their near rated capacity during that period the longer they sit the more they'll degrade now if you break a solar panel it's not the end of the world you can put solar panel epoxy on them recoating them resealing in all the glass uh, shatters all the cracks and crevices in the glass filling them back in resealing your solar panel and continuing to protect the solar cell cells underneath my experience is solar panels are pretty durable I've had my panels go through a lot of stress through the years with wind flipping them around and microbursts and all kinds of junk uh, much of which I suffered the joke of, uh, you know I've been a center of the joke of because of what I experienced in New York but the little mini tornadoes that came through all the time were insane and not normal what it did show me is that the solar panels were pretty rugged and withstood it all without breaking now I'm going to show you a solar panel that I accidentally broke four years ago when a stone flew out of the front of a lawnmower flying up into the air I'll show you in comparison to these and we'll come back to these 
Here is my solar panel. Uh, four years ago, back in New York, I was mowing the lawn. This was off the ground, and a stone flew up into the air out the front of my lawnmower and hit the solar panel. This was four years ago, maybe more. And I watched as it just started fragmenting further and further and further. It was devastating to watch my beautiful solar panel get shattered. And that is what happens. It'll just fragment outwards more and more and more and more. Now, this was, has been in the weather, unprotected, unrepaired, untouched for over four years. Notice, because I've been treating it carefully and gently, notice how the solar panel is still flat. This is a freshly broken solar panel. I, I would say freshly in comparison to the others, the deal that I got um, burnt on. It's still flat. It is not bowed in. It is not sagged. It still holds its shape really well. Four years in service, no degradation of the tabbing wire, no rot or corrosion, although I've done nothing to protect it from the elements. I thought, at that time, it was destroyed, and that was the end of it, and I figured, well, I'll just leave it in service until it dies, which I thought would be soon after. Well, after four years of use, I've learned this panel is still producing full rated value. Maybe a few percent loss because of the cracks in the glass is going to uh, refract the sunlight somewhat. And you can see some moisture is getting in with time here, which is going to further reduce, and there's why you have to protect them. There's some moisture inside. It has been raining today, though, of course. But that's going to further reduce the performance of the panels and with time it will degrade the cells underneath now that I know that this panel is still working I will protect it with the epoxy the solar panel epoxy but there's no degradation in four years to the tabbing wire and no damage to the solar cells underneath this still performs almost as new compared to the one right next to it which is the same make and model and same year that I bought it Nothing changed. It still works. So this is what I fully expected from experience. And I have another broken solar panel that I bought at a garage sale. Um, a folding RV's broken solar panel that works fine as well. You just have to make sure that, you know, before it's too late, you seal it in some way to prevent the weather from getting in and destroying the solar cells underneath, which will degrade with time. Also the tabbing wire. Now, keep this in mind, four years, no damage. Four years, still working fine, no corrosion. These are the solar panels I bought off eBay, as broken, knowing they were broken, and the eBay listing said they were recently broken, in return shipping to the warehouse where they sat for eight months in the warehouse. Well, that is not possible because of the amount of corrosion and rot on these panels, the amount of dirt and filth on these panels compared to mine. These have been sitting out corroding and rotting for years. Also, can you see the downward curve of the panels? And you can see where water has been sitting on it outside, not in a warehouse. This has been sitting outside long enough to stain the panel with a ring where the water sits. I don't know if that shows on camera. It has rained a little and washed it some. But it's got a stain where the water was sitting. And how filthy they are from being newly damaged and sitting in a warehouse until they were shipped to me. That's absolutely impossible that these are newly damaged and that nasty filthy. And this level of corrosion on those panels, look at how bad this is here. Look at that level of corrosion. The tabbing wire is rusted through and the glass is bulging upwards from the rot. I have worse. Most of them are worse. These are some of the, in quotes, better ones. So I got cheated on this deal. 
and I'm going through the eBay return process and the complaint. See how they're curved down? You can see they're bowed in from being absolutely abused. And my, mine, by the way, my panels traveled all over the place, were installed in various places in New York, traveled from New York to Michigan in the back of a truck, were set around here for a while up against the side of my shed, and then mounted, and they still are not bowed. So this amount of sagging would also occur over a longer period of time. Now the reason I'm showing you this is if anybody wants to buy broken solar panels for repair, which is very much possible to do, and very much success you could have with it, be careful that you don't get burnt. Make sure that the uh, listing is exactly what they say it is, unlike in this case I trusted a reputable company um, because of their name and uh, got burnt just for trusting them blindly. Bad mistake. Um, but yes you can if they're newly, da newly broken absolutely use them and repair them. You can actually get by with a couple years before they degrade too far to be useful. Um, some of these, the tracing is actually burnt out. I don't know if I can sort through and find them all because I have them all piled up neatly. But these were abused, absolutely abused. So my advice to you, if you're going to buy broken solar panels for repair, know that if they were recently repaired, you have a very high likelihood of being able to put them back into service. If they have not been recently repaired, do not touch them. Make sure that you know who you're getting them from, you talk to them, you ask questions, get it in writing before you make the purchase. Now, I have the eBay 100% uh, buyer protection policy that backing me. The listing was false. The information posted was false, so I should get a full refund. But that remains to be seen. It's still in the uh, going through the system. And I'm not going to do anything more with these until I find out. Uh, I'm not going to install any more or do anything. I just wait now. Now I just wait and see. To further show the neglect and abuse these solar panels suffered, that they were not recently broken, but rather tortured and abused. Can you see the yellowing on this from burning? Can you see the burn mark here and the raised tracing? You can feel it's raised from being burnt here. You can feel that. The others are almost flush. And these are burnt right through the board. So the listing on eBay of my panels was an absolute lie. And these things were abused beyond belief before being smashed and then sitting around for years to rot. Here's another burn mark, here's another burn stain. Absolutely tortured and abused these panels. So I do believe that I am protected under the eBay policy because it was an absolutely false listing. But I just want to show you this to make sure you cover yourself if you do buy used panels of any kind and make sure you don't get burnt like I did. So I hope this helps anyone out there considering uh, purchasing used broken solar panels. Make sure, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is important. Make sure they're newly broken. Make sure they haven't sat around for years. Ask questions to the seller. Make sure you know the source, where they've been, what the process has been, how long they've been sitting around, how long they've been traveling. Um, any other damages, get more photos if you need to. But if you consider repairing them, sure you can. And uh, mostly with good success. But, you know, just make sure you get what you're paying for. In this case, I did not. And if somebody's honest with you and you get a panel like this, you are good to go. My panel, four years sitting out in the elements after being broken, is serving me very, very well. Almost like the day it was bought. Still doing good. There's no corrosion. Now that I know it is still performing after all these years with no degradation, I certainly will protect this. And uh, do follow-up videos after I do so to show you the how well it lasts through the years.
but you know that's obviously going to be years to come but there it is guys what happens if you buy good broken solar panels if you can use the word good with broken and what happens if you get junk so just uh, watch yourself and uh, you could have great great power output if you get a good deal so thanks for watching guys um, I'll let you know what does happen with my deal uh, the outcome of it I am not mentioning the name of the company uh, yet at this time we'll see how this works out but anyway right now I still have hope for building up our power at the off-grid homestead all right guys this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world the off-grid project talk to you later